to the Shack Shack. Stay happy and creative. My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, Clarity Crafts here in the UK and welcome to another Monday session of doodling for an hour. We've got a new, I've got a new plan for you. The bus is leaving the depot at bang on 10 o'clock but we'll wait for our friends to arrive. How are you? How is everything and how was your weekend? Uh, Paul Church is in the building with you. If you'd if you'd like to ask any questions or if you if you're looking for something, other than that, good morning, Pat Coombs. Nice to have your company. Um, and uh, I know that we'd actually said that um, that we wouldn't be hooking up today because of uh, our visit. We were going to go and see Mike and Shana Boston in Wales, um, but we've got so much going on at the moment. We've really got got more on our plates Dave and I than we can than we can handle and so we decided Pat Hoskins great to have your company Pat glad that you're back on track my friend um yeah so we decided rather than put undue pressure on ourselves um we'd hang around here and tick a few more boxes and then we can go and see Shona and Mike later on in the summer they're good with that Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Nahid. Hey, they're all coming in now. Good, Debbie. Uh, yeah, Karin, good to see you. Um, Karin aus Deutschland. Marion. Marion, guten Morgen. Ich habe dir geschrieben. Um, anyway, yeah, it's lovely to have your company. And, uh, and like I say, we weren't going to get together. And then I thought, well, hang on a minute. This would be great because we could start our little trip today. We can have a little two week excursion, a little doodle excursion for a fortnight. And then we've got another bank holiday. I know. And I think I'm on telly that weekend. But there you go. So um, as everybody's coming in, let me just do a little bit of housekeeping. For those of you who don't know us from Adam or what we do here, this is the shack. It's been going for a few years now. And um, it started during lockdown. And we just got together to keep each other company. I'm the bus driver. And I come up with little doodle ideas and um, drawing things and colouring things. And, and, then, and then we just hang out and learn our, uh, some tricks and tips and hone our colouring skills and our, our drawing skills. And you don't have to be an expert. There are no experts in this building. All of the um, sessions... And we're on, this is bus number 305 today. So there are 305 hours of arty doodling and banter, all recorded on Clarity Stamp YouTube. So that's pretty impressive. And I encourage you to, um, to sign up to our newsletter. Maybe, Paul, you do me a favor. If you would just um, add the link here in the stream, I think it would be well worth you. And it's not that we're going to, batter you with um, promotion and it's not that we're going to give your information to anybody else why on earth would we do that this is purely so that we can um, we can let you know when we're having a doodle session when we're having a, a craft along because often we do craft alongs in the evenings I've got something I think I must have lost a tooth here <laughs> oh my god oh, no. I don't know what it was. We'll deal with that afterwards. <laughs> Pat, an hour of pleasure. Yeah, well, you know, I was thinking about it because, of course, you good people, you must have worked some magic because Barbie and Dave got to go to the palace on the 3rd of May. And I haven't spoken to you since, have I? Cool, it was something. I'll tell you about it when we get doodling. It was quite something phenomenal and um yeah don't get me crying it was brilliant and every single one of you would have loved it i know you would have and every single one of you probably deserved to be there too hmm. it was amazing and the sun i mean cool we were lucky <laughs> <laughs> we had that little window, that one day of beautiful sunshine. Yeah, it was quite something. I'll tell you about it when we're doodling. All right, we've got to get the bus going now because it's gone 10 o'clock. 
are we ready yeah come on let's get going and even if a few people have missed the bus because of course this is a little bit of an impromptu journey um they can always catch up can't they yeah right let me let me just get started so that you can get your bits together and like i said there are no experts in the building remember that if you're new to the shack don't give it a second thought really you don't have to be able to draw all you need is a pencil and a piece of paper and the rest we just deconstruct it don't we guys friends we just deconstruct it make it uncomplicated and then we build it back up again so i'll show you what we're doing and then and then i'll show you how to do it okay so let's have a look or and i'll tell you what you need as you go so the first thing we're going to need is um right here we go a pencil okay so you need a couple of pencils i use i use faber castell pencils uh, but an hb pencil any pencil will do you need a rubber an eraser that's good too you need a piece of paper yeah uh oh micron pens we sell those we stopped selling these because we can't we cannot compete on price people you know the, it's crazy we can't compete on price and so why why would we charge you so much money when you can go to other places um, and get it so much more cheaply? And I know that you would buy them from us, but the prices are not, it's not, you could go to Cass Art, for example, and you can get these, these pencils far, far, far more cheaply than I could ever possibly, you know. I, it costs me more to buy them in then you could buy them at Cassar or Amazon or anywhere. So I don't know why that is, but that is the fact. They do, we do sell those and we sell them at a very good price. That's the thing about clarity. If we sell anything, we sell it at a very good price. Otherwise, I'll send you somewhere else where it's cheaper. OK, because and that's not that's just real, isn't it? I went to an art shop. I digress, but that's what I do best. Um, I went to an art shop on Saturday to buy a brayer, like not not our brayers right we've got these we've had these for 30 years um i needed a, a printing brayer a specialist brayer under <laughs> you know it sticks in my throat what i said <coughs> 150 pounds for this specialist brayer 150 pounds i oh, know staggering but it's, you know, if I said it's worth it, it's transformational when you're doing liner printing, okay? But it's a lot of money, isn't it, for a brayer? Right, these little fellas, okay, which I know they're going up in price. Everything's going up in price. We we sell these, we have to sell these now at 19.99, only because we bring them in from the States. It costs a fortune. Prices have gone up. Shipping's massive. 20 quid, 19.99, plus your discount. In this, in this art shop, which will not be named, these were thirty-five pounds, and I thought, "You're having a giraffe." <laughs> That's what I thought. Actually, you can't help the thoughts that come into your head. So, needless to say, we've got plenty of these in the cupboard. I didn't buy that, but I thought thirty-five quid. So, you know, I guess the point is, you have to shop around, don't you? You know, and I'm not saying don't buy from us. Golly, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> please but back to what we need we don't sell these anymore because we can't compete on price cassar jackson these guys are better than us um but the micron pens competitive okay so we need those we need those um we need oh i'll tell you what tracing paper paul will put the link up for you great price gold line top quality so we need that we need that we need a bit of copy paper and stencil card which is unique beautiful stencil card so then we'll use that for best in a minute right so we've got that 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 and that and maybe if we if we need a few more things but the bottom line is you need a pencil and a piece of paper okay right and what are we going to do okay let's have a look a floral circle okay butterfly do you know i thought about it i thought we've never done a butterfly i don't think in the shack have we done a bath i don't remember ever doing a butterfly in the shack so i thought right well there's no time like now so you can see we've got a butterfly it's a little bit of a i don't know this was my prototype so yeah what's the top and what's the bottom <laughs> who knows look butterflies diving dive bombing 
flowers to the top. Butterflies soaring. Butterflies are growing out the side. <laughs> there you go. It is what it is. So point number one, right, we have to think about the composition while we're doing it. All right, That's why we work on tracing paper. Okay. So let's have a look. And then we're going to draw in, we're going to work in a circle, right? So you, while you're getting all your bits, let's have a look. We're going to work in a circle. And I, I want to show you, because obviously this is then great for colouring in, isn't it? So I, I thought, there we go, just put it like that so we can see it. And then I thought, what about colouring it in? So when we get to colouring it in, which will probably be next week, I'm going to use greys and tones like that. Not bright colours, but kind of tonal colours. These are the polychromos. You can use anything you like. We did a watercolour butterfly, if we remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for refreshing my memory. I forgot. Well, I'll have to have a look. Anyway, so... So I'm going to use those down the road. But I want to show you something that I I, I I used a micron pen and I dotted. I did some dotting. And I know we did some dotting ages ago when we coloured in the cockerel. But I want to show you what a neat background trick. And I've deliberately, I've, I've, I've put more in that area and then I've opened it up a little bit in this area so you can see the difference. Okay. But I just think, you know, you can really, with pointillism, or whatever you want to call it, this makes a really nice background, okay? Really nice background. So, um, so that's something, it's really easy. Um, in this set that we have, there's a 005, okay? And... But these were sold individually in this art shop. I think they were three ninety nine each. Just put strong. But there you go. Okay, so you just hold it perpendicular, like straight on, like this. Let's see if we can see it like that. So it's straight up, ninety degree angle, and then you dot, 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 and and if you go too fast, it they make dashes. So if you want to do it nicely, it's a really nice way to work okay but slowly and very in a measured way okay so that's it we've gone right to the end of the bus journey now apart from the coloring and that way we can unravel it and we can start so are you ready to work i think we'll start with the first thing is the circle so that we've got a frame i think we need a frame don't you right let's have a look so I'll just pan out a little bit so we get the shape right. Oh, hello, wrong way, Barbara. That'll do. Right. And um, so I've done a circle. Right. This is obvious, isn't it? So we've got a circle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna, we're gonna do it on a piece of copy paper, and we'll put it underneath the tracing paper. Okay. So it, it gives us a frame, but not. It's not set in stone yet. Okay. Right. Let's just go on the bus, because I've been thinking about this. See, because I, I did a dry run yesterday, I've had time to digest and improve the journey, right? So let's have a look, because this is, this is quite good. So if we take this, <clears throat> of course, we can take any jar, any bowl. This is called grog porcelain. See, it's like porcelain, but it's got, it's got grog in it, like little black pieces, and it's only... It's only uh, glazed on the inside. So that's quite nice as a little aside here, right? So you can take any jug, any bowl, any cup, anything you've got in your hand and draw around it, okay? And that will give you um, a good, a good. so you, you dictate your size. What, how, what is it? Let's have a look. What's this, in? this is about, say, four, three and three quarter inches, say, just under four inches. Okay, pencil, copy paper, draw around it, done. Now, thinking ahead a little bit, say we wanted to add colour in the back, back, beyond the circle or within the circle, and we wanted to, you could take a, 
uh, a watercolor brush and you can do it if you want it really smooth you know with our brushes you know the ship clarity customers know what i'm talking about so i was thinking about this about five o'clock this morning and i thought right if you thought ahead a little bit let me show you we've got we've got masks you a lot of you have got these if you think about it before you start right you could take there's a there's a round one so you've got all the different shapes so now you could take this which is the same size as that right so you draw around this and then down the road a bit when you want to take well, i'm going to physically show you now because this is like explaining what, where we're going so now let's say i want to take a brush this is just down the road a bit now i'm going to pop that on there like that because it fits nicely and then let's just say i do that Right, just for example, I can go all the way around, can't I? But I'm just explaining. So now I can really quickly and easily, because I've made the circle the same size as the mask I've got, that makes that that's that's that makes it easier. Okay. So sometimes <clears throat> I only worked this out because I did a dry run and then I thought, hmm, if I wanted to colour it in, then I'd have to so then I'll work my way backwards again. Okay. Worth considering. And I think Paul will probably put the links in for you for them, but they're not necessary. You can take that, and I'm not trying to not get you to buy, but you could if you wanted to, if you couldn't afford this, you could take that, draw around it. Listen, you could cut this out very carefully around that edge, and then you've got your mask as well, haven't you? Right? Right, so that's that. We don't need them anymore. <laughs> we do, we do, we do need them. We do, we do. <laughs> you can use them again and again and again, and they stick in the right place. Anyway, right, so where were we? Done our circle. And if you want, oh, how do you draw around it? Well, that's easy enough. Look, we'll take our circle. You've got choices now. You can either take the outie and draw around the innie and, and around this edge, or you can take this one. On a bit of copy paper, I'll show you, and just draw around it. So let's put it in the middle. I've obviously used this with an archival link, right? And we'll take this and then we'll just make sure it's down. So it's a circle like that. And then there you go. There you go. We just go around like that. It's easier to point outwards. Yeah. And then you lean on the mask and you just turn the paper, make the artwork come to you. And then that, my friends, is a circle and it will fit the mask because you just use the mask to use it. Tips, tips, tips. I just think often we buy this stuff and then we don't know what to do with it. But it's so useful, so useful if you've got it. And in here you've got the circle, you've got a hexagon, you've got triangle, you've got rectangle. These are good shapes, you know. You've got square, you've got diamond. Good shapes. Good shapes also, you know, when you want to make landscapes, build landscapes within. Oh, good. Very good indeed. Right, so now we've got our circle and we're going to take our tracing paper. And then we'll get drawing. I'll take that off there because I've already used this. Let's use a fresh one. So we're going to pop that underneath there. And now we can see, let's just let's just use this. If you want to be more frugal, you can you can go half. You know, it's it's up to you. I'm going. To, I'm just going to go in the middle here, um, just because it sits in the right place. But you know what to do if you want to be more frugal. I'm just going to use this piece. Okay. So the next thing I want to do now, I've done that, is draw the butterfly. But because we're working on tracing paper, one of the things about the tracing paper is it's see through. So I'll show you where I what I did before, and then you'll understand. So here's the butterfly. But what I want to do, see, it's completely symmetrical. You know, don't you, already why it's symmetrical. So what we'll do now is 
or draw half a butterfly. That's all we want to do is draw half a butterfly. So let's have a look. If I take my pencil, I'm going to use an H, H, B, H, H is H for hard. Okay. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to pop my, I'll start with the body. Okay. We're going to start with the body. Then we'll add these bits, but we're going to come out to, you can see if you look at the butterfly, it's a nice one. Okay. So let's just draw this. Okay. And we could take a little bit of time over this, but the idea is that we want the butterfly to be, let's, now, where do you want the butterfly to be? Do you want it to be, you decide, do you want it to be in the top left-hand corner? Do you want it to be in the, in the, in the bottom left-hand corner? Where would you like your butterfly to sit? Do you want it there in that corner? Now's your chance. But wherever you decide where you want it, now's, now's the time. Okay. I might try it down here this time. Do it differently. Yeah? No, no. Don't start getting clever, Gray. Right, there. <laughs> so put the body in first, just like that. Just do that. Start with the body. And we want the actual, the um, petal. What are they called? Wings. <laughs> Petals. Right, so let's just really lightly, let's go to the edge there like that. Okay, we're going to come, we can go out a bit further if you like. And then lightly it's almost like air sketching right we're going to come to there and then and then i would say that we probably want to come to about there with the top half of the and then the, so this is going to be make a great big like that and then this one is going to come round like that just lightly you can't see what i'm doing because i'm doing it so lightly but it gives me, so it's one great big piece to the circle, like that. Okay, I'll do it a bit harder so you can see it better, like that. And then another one, like that. Okay. That's about right. There you go. That'll do. Even if it's a bit bigger, it doesn't matter. Everyone's original. All right? So that's that. Then what we want to do is start on the inside. And let's just make four of these little patterns like that okay so they're going to come out to about here and we'll, we'll make that drop this so we'll turn it round and I'm going to make divide this up see that's it it's all about breaking it down it's you've got four droplets and we're going to come I'll show you we're going to go like that like that like that and like that see it let's do it so this is going to go like that, I'm going to do the two outer ones, like that, and then the two inner ones. Thing is, when you're working on a detail like this, all your attention is focused on one area, so you're very critical of it. But you can't really work, do it first, and then decide whether you want to change it or not. Right, so now we've done that bit, nearly there. It, it, it's really easy so we've done that bit see and now we want to do the inside of this particular let's do see it's got a petal like that one two three okay here we go so you're going to come round like that and then you're going to go one two three see one two three so you've done that petal now and then we'll do while we're on it we might as well do the inside, same thing. So you're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. Got it? It's a bit different, but it doesn't matter. Right, so then we've done that. And then we'll put two shapes in there. One, two random eyes, like that, that'll do. Two's, two's good. Um, and then, actually, where's my rubber gone? See, if you don't like it, change it. If you don't like it, friends, then all you've got to do is change it. Now, where did I put my rubber? You look at that while I, I scope out my rubber. I did have one here. I know I did. Right. Oh, Barbara. Good job I've got more. Let me just take one out from up here. There it is. Thank you. 
Okay. Right. So I think, even though I'm not going to do three, let's at least put them in the petals. Do you agree? So I'm going to put one there and one there. Right, and one there. That'll do. Right, so that's nice. And then we've got the bottom part, which is one, two, three, four little petals. Okay, so we're going to come in here now. This is quite big, Barbara, what you've done here, but we'll give it a go. One, two, three, four. Yeah? I'm thinking I might come out on the outside. One, two, three, four. Okay, that'll do. And then again, we'll put two eyes in there. So that is as good as it gets. Okay, so we've done that. Are you happy with that? Half a butterfly, and then we'll do the antenna afterwards. Haley West once called these areas, which made much to my amusement. Right, because this is the center pit. To me, the, the butterfly is the center. But then when you start to look at these flowers here, these are rather lovely too. So let's have a look. Keep it simple, Barbara. Now we've done that, right? But what we want to do now is make it symmetrical. Don't worry about the detail inside. We'll do that later. So we're going to take our tracing paper. Okay. Ah, <laughs> Paul's just said <laughs> the erasers in the tin of pencils. Thanks, Paul. I closed the lid. <laughs> right, you ready? So we're going to take our tracing paper now and fold it exactly down the middle of the body like that okay so now we're going to definitely get a symmetrical one now i wonder though if this pencil will be hard enough to transfer let's just try it because i may have to have a look yeah it's good enough let me see i know if you can't see what i'm doing but don't you can hear what i'm doing right See, so now I'm going to transfer symmetrical. Do you know what? I've got way too much going on. So I'm going to turn it round. I'll just lift this up underneath so I'm not. Right, so now I'm going to do the same thing again, like this. Just hold it in place and transfer. Make sure it's working. It's good enough. I can certainly see where I need to go. Mm -hmm. So just get the just the basic patterns in. That's all you need is the outline. Then at least you know it's in the right place, don't you? That'll do. There. So now I've got my my other half. So now we can pencil that in because we can see it. Yeah, I find it. So we're doing this with a with a, a butterfly, but now you know there are so many other things that you want to be symmetrical. And um, and now you know how. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Good enough, eh? And here, one, two, three. Four. Okay, that'll do. So now we've got our butterfly, and then we just do our two antennae. How's that? Good enough, eh? So we've got our butterfly in place. When when it comes to doing the butterfly pattern, it's quite, right. So I'll show you that we can do that with um with a pen afterwards we don't need to do it in pencil just it's more to rub out isn't it so we've done our butterfly right let's have a sip of tea are you catching up there you go it's quite nice to do i i sat in the garden yesterday afternoon because the sun was shining and i just had the best afternoon just doodling and rubbing out and looking at the flowers in the garden and deciding which flowers look best and hmm and leaves, and it's a great place to sit, really, when you're drawing the flowers. Okay, but so let's have a look at this circle in the background. We've got choices now. If you wanted to, you could leave the circle exactly where it is, couldn't you? And you could, um, when you go to draw it, 
see mine is sticking out a little bit when you go to ink the circle you just let the butterfly protrude okay if however you want the butter everything to be inside your circle now's your chart chart where do you want to move where do you want it where do you want your circle you see what i mean now you've got your butterfly you can choose where you want it can't you do you see what I'm getting at? So do you want it at the top? Do you want it at the bottom? Do you want it sticking out? Do you want it, you know, you get it? Right. So that's why we're leaving that layer again. Do you remember when we did the vases a few weeks ago? We had all the different layers, didn't we? So we had the outline. And the, that was a really interesting uh, process, you know. And this is not... You know, same thing here. If you wanted to, you you know, like we did the vases, you could do three layers. You watch, you could do the swirls on one layer, you could do the butterflies all over in the circle in another layer. You caught up a nearer set of stabs coming on here. You could do butterflies on one layer. Uh, that's it, I'll say no more. Swirls on the other, and then um, the flowers and the leaves on the other. And then when you overlay them, you just decide, couldn't you? Right, don't. Please don't copy me, anyone. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've just got to get it done first. <laughs> it's, it's difficult. It's a challenge running a craft company at the moment because there are lots of other craft companies out there. Right. Now, let's have a look. So what are we going to do? We'll put the, we'll put the butterfly. I'm going to put the butterfly. I what I am going to do is cut a little bit off this here so that I can move the circle a little bit better than that. Let's have a look. So it's jutting up here. So if I do that, and I could fold it, couldn't I? But that'd be too intelligent to do that. Right, now I can move it a bit better. Yeah, that's better. Right. Okay. Okay, that's where I want it. Like that. I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to use, so the next thing I want to do is the, the leaves or the flowers. Let's do the leaves next. They're big. So I think I'm going to, this time I'm going to put a leaf here, a leaf here. Oh, hello. It's alive. So this, this leaf is, it's a jaggedy one. It's quite long and thin like that. Okay. So I'm going to put one here, I think. Well, where am I going to put the flowers? Let's have a think. So, see, so last time I put flowers upside down, which wasn't so smart. I would probably like to bring my flowers, I brought my flowers in here. And I could put the leaf up there. Right, change of plan, leaf here. Okay, so I'm going to bring the leaf to there. Okay, let's do the center of the leaf first. There you go. So that gives you the direction of the leaf. So you do this bit first. Okay, do you want a little bit of a curl in it? Now's your chance. See, if you want, you can, it's all on this edge. There you go, let's put a bit of a curl on it. So you come around there and then like that, there you are. So now this is gonna cut in like that, easy, three steps. So you go like that, like that, and like that. And we'll come around that so, like so, and like so. There you go, there's your leaf, right, nice. So we could put the swirls around the back of it if I choose to, can't we? Yeah. There's another leaf on here. There it is there. But let's put that leaf there. And we could always put another leaf up here. But the flowers are key. And I think that the flowers, they should go here. I think that the flowers should be in here. Do you agree? So the flowers, let's try them on a piece of, let's just try them on the side first, you know. If you if you could do them straight here, but really you want to sort of decide where you're gonna where you're gonna put the stalks. Stalks first, and then I think I'll put where's the main one gonna go? We've got two two flowers. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put one there, just do a triangle like that. That'll give you an idea. I'll put one there, I think, like that, one there. So that's going to come in like that, and that's going to come in like that. Lightly does it, so I'm air drawing at the moment. Or I could put a bigger one up here. Maybe that would be better. See? 
What do you think? And I, I know what to do. I'm trying not to just repeat what I did yesterday. That's all. I put another try. I put a bigger triangle. Let's just call it triangle for now. That's the flower. I'm going to put that flower in there, and then I'll drop this one round, and I'll put this one here, like so. A, a bud. Boom. Okay. I may scrap the. No, I think that will do. So now we've got the the stalks in. Yeah. Not sure about that bud. The bud looks a bit okay. Mm. Commit grey. Right. Stalks in. That'll do. Okay, to there, to there, and to there. Are we good with this? Okay. Now, next. We've got one, two, three, four. And, and it, so we've got a triangle like that. Let's just do the triangles. You'll be happier when you've done the triangles. <laughs> Let's do this one like that. Okay, that'll do. Okay, we've got three triangles. Now let's turn it round. Often I find it easier to draw something upside down. It gives you a different perspective. So now we've got four, just like we did here. Okay. Four petals. Okay. So we've got one, two, like that. That'll do. So we've got our four triangles. And then we're going to, these are quite, quite round, like that. Should we do the two outside ones again, just like we did here? It's the same sort of thing, but more extreme. So there's your petal, there's your triangle. So let's go for it. One, two. And the thing is, this is your art. This isn't my art. So if your triangles look different to my triangles and your flowers come out differently to mine, I'm just giving you a suggestion how to, you know what I said earlier about, for those of you who are new to the shack and you, you look at that and you think, well, where would you start? Well, this is, this is just a direction, really. It's not, um, hold up. It's, it's not written in stone that this is how you have to do this. Look, see, I'm not going to get four petals on there <laughs> unless I brought this one right over like that. And then I've got another one in the back there. Let's see what that looks like that way round. A bit ropey. But that's why. See, I don't know. It's just different to that one, isn't it? I don't mind it. Hey, listen, friends. Who says I might put a fifth one in? Boom. All right. That's better, isn't it? A bit of balance. There you go. And do you know what? This is the whole point of the shank. It's just a piece of paper. It's a piece of tracing paper. It's a pencil. Just make something. Just make something. I'm going to change the angle of this little fella. I don't want to make it too droopy, though. Right. Out there, like that. That's it. So it'd be a, bud's supposed to be smaller, Gray. Come on. Let's have a look. Bird. Bird. That'd be nice. Bit of a weird angle. Changing it. Yeah, nice. Okay. Bud's in. Make something. So Dave, he's really into this letterpress printing at the moment, this big platen press, and he's working out. It's really quite exciting watching him. He's working out letter spacing, which is what it's all about with printing. That's why we needed these expensive rails. We've got two, by the way. I know, one for me here and one for Dave in the big print shop at work. I know. But it's a business expense. <laughs> it really is. Though having a craft company does have its advantages. Now, if you look behind me, let me just check mm, that one there. Look, make something today. Make something today. I blogged about this yesterday. This was the, the picture. Make something today. Hashtag make something today. I want to see that all over Facebook. Come on, friends. Hashtag all one, all one word. Make something today. Okay, let's get started. Make something. Make some noise. Make sawdust. Make a mess. Make... Make music, make make a quilt, make a 
pair of socks, make a card, make art, just make something. And during that period when you're making something, like at the moment we're making a picture, we're making art, right? And during that time, all your focus is on what we're doing. You're not thinking about anything else. You're only thinking about what you're making. And that distraction, that gives your brain a chance to just calm down, to relax, to stop panicking. Because a lot of us get very anxious about things that we really don't need to worry about. 95% of what we worry about is never going to happen. And the 5% that is on the cards can be... Um, can be reduced, right, and calmed down when you make, when you get with your hands. How long have I, I've been saying this for three years now, Michelle. You get out of your head and you get with your hands. And it really is good for the, for the soul and for your sanity, okay? So let's have a look. We've done the flowers. There you go. I reckon, make someone smile. Thank you, Zara. What a great one. Isn't that lovely? Make someone smile. There you go. Make something. Make someone smile. I'll, I'll get Dave to make another another print for us. This is this is printed on a hundred and thirty year old platen press. See, that's I like that as well. I like that. It's not digitally knocked out. It's printed letter by letter with a very expansive briar. <laughs> Right, so we've done a leaf there. I would say that it would be nice to put another leaf here, just because, I, or maybe a little one down here. Maybe just a sliver of one there. What do you think? Would make sense, wouldn't it, if it were down here? Let's do. Let's use that as the the line of the of the the what's it called? The vein. Let's use that as the vein then. And let's just put one here then. Okay. Down, up, down. Oh, that doesn't look right, right? <laughs> Shut up. No. Right. I'm going to go like that. I've got to get my eye in. No, I'm not happy with... Oh, I don't know. That could work. Let's start at the bottom and we'll go upwards instead then. So I want to avoid that bud now. Maybe I'll just do a little leaf. How about a little leaf? So I'll just come up like that. Okay, if I did it there. See, and this is exactly how it works. Right, that, that. There you go, that's more like it. That's better. Right. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. All right, so this makes more sense now, doesn't it? Hmm? So I quite like it when it's all over the place like that. But you know what? It's a different one. It's a different one. So now we've done the leaves. See, you know what I'm thinking here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to make three printing plates. So one, or stamps. So one's going to have the leaves and the flowers. One's going to have butterflies. And now we're going in for the swirls. Okay? And the swirls are the backdrop. Backdrop. So let's start from the centre of the swirl here. This is a biggie. And we're going to go like that. That'll do. And then we'll bring another one round like that. So this is going to go through. So it will start here and it will come round, round, and then it's going to come in there like that. What do you think? Like that. I think I want to change the angle of this. Okay. Now, why did I think we were going to get this done in? <laughs> we will. Right, so there's another swirl. I reckon another nice swirl would be here. Okay, so you see the swirls, you see what I'm doing here. They're lovely, but they don't really look like anything until you put the leaves on them. So what about, and I, I think I'd like a swirl there, like that. And then it, will, it doesn't matter if it comes around there, who cares? And we could put another one. If we put one there like that, what about bring it around, a bit of balance. We can come like that. And then we can curl over like that. It doesn't have to go swirly. It can just do a loop like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? And then I think probably 
on this particular occasion, I might just put one like that so it's gone round there and gone off the page again. So you can always add them. You can always add them afterwards. So now we've done that, I'll tell you what I am going to do is just sharpen my pencil. Do you know that I haven't emptied <laughs> my, I haven't emptied the boxes of stuff from prep for last Sunday's TV show, not yesterday, the Sunday before when I did that colouring, um, that colouring two hour session. That's worth going and having a look at if you if you want to some tricks and tips on create and craft. It must still be on catch up because I think they hold it for a month or so. Um, it was on last Sunday, which would have been the day after the jubil the coronation. So it was 7th of May, 7th of May. And it was from three o'clock until five o'clock, a two hour block. But I bet you can get it on catch up. And there were lots of really interesting. Um, well, I say they were interesting. I thought they were good. <laughs> Inflated ego. Oh, dear. Mm. No, it's the sort of stuff that you would want to know. You know, how, yeah. It, definitely. All right. So let's have a look. So this now, this is where we put these little leaves on. And you'll see the leaves get smaller. You don't have to cram them. You don't have to say to yourself, right, I must get them in on both sides. If it don't fit, don't put them there. If it looks too crowded then don't worry about it so for example uh, i'm just gonna i'm not gonna just make sure my, my circle in the background's in the right place so that doesn't shift um you could always tape it down couldn't you Craig? yeah Not too easy right there you go in fact <laughs> let's take a bit of low tap masking tape because that would be a frustrating moment, wouldn't it, if it moved? Just need to hold it in place. That'll do. Okay, it's in place. Right, little leaves. Now, the little leaves, they're, they're whatever you want them to be. Mine are like that. So they're on a large scale, they're like that. That's all I'm doing. Up and back down again. You can make, you can decide now how long they want to be, whether you want them round at the top, whether you want to put a line through them, it's too busy. But up and down is a nice shape. Okay, up, down. Right. Up. There you go. And then you just travel like that. And you can have them touching the swirl, or you can have them away from the swirl. Your choice. You can have them alternating. You can have them opposite each other. Look. But what you do need to do, I find this anyway, is concentrate. I find that I need to concentrate on the shape that'll do yeah i do something nice in the right place though gray that's it uh shape right shape of these up and down I don't want to cut into the bud, so I'm just going to ignore it. In the end, <clears throat> this will be quite busy. It's a busy little picture, a busy doodle. And you don't, nobody's going to see, you know, who's going to say, oh, hang on a minute. You missed a leaf. <laughs> I hope not, anyway. Now, that one there seems to be a long way off the... That'll do. Right, we'll go around on. <sighs> yeah, so the palace, it was extraordinary. And um, 
we we got we got a we got a train up to London <clears throat> in our glad rags, Dave and I. We looked quite the part, and the sun was shining, and we got a train to Charing Cross, and then we walked down the Mall. And there, you know, I think I have to say we did pick the right day, you know, the day before. It was so so spectacular. <clears throat> I'm going to get a bit smaller now. And uh, you know the preparations. It, the, oh, London was on. It was just electric. Okay, and everybody was out in the sunshine, and all the camera crews and security. But it was a very kind kind of security. It, it felt kind. It wasn't intimidating. You didn't think twice about going up to a up to a policeman. You know, with a semi-automatic. So they've all got semi-automatic. You know, not all of them, but there was certainly. Um, a weapon presence you can understand it i mean my god can you imagine if something had... doesn't bear thinking about anyway but you, you they were very friendly and very helpful and very you know not intimidating at all and um and then when we got to the palace we, we stood outside the security again top security but very kind security i felt um and and then we were in a kind of an area outside the um, outside the palace gates, and we met a really beautiful couple called Bill and Pat from Dudley. They were so lovely. And the thing was, you know, don't get me wrong. There was there were about seven thousand or eight thousand people. We were at the front. <laughs> well, it was only because we got there early. Um, and, and we got talking, but what was really amazing was that everybody there was there for something that was considered worthy of recognition. So you good people had uh, nominated me and because of the shack, because of what we're doing here, which was pretty impressive, you know. The, not the shack's not impressive, but the fact that you took the time to do that, that blew me away. That was the highlight for me, really, the fact that, you, that you you thought that that was a uh, that was pretty special i can only say it was special right i think i'm going to add a leaf in here a long skinny leaf yep. see two leaves i think i'll put one let me just put the vein in first and then i'll wrap right there that's it put the leaf i think i want to put another one here and there's the vein yeah, so then I did a blog um, about the palace visit, and um, I can't remember which day it was. I think it was last Friday, not this Friday, just gone, but the Friday before. And um, it was, it, it showed you all the photographs. We were allowed to take photos as well. And I know lots of you, the first pe thing people say is, did you shake the king's hand? Did you see the king? We saw the king. We saw Queen Camilla. We saw loads of the royal family. But I just mentioned there were 8,000 people there, and I'm not a pushy person. So I got, you know, I saw them. I saw Prince Edward. I saw Princess Anne. Um, and it was just amazing to be in their garden. But did I, did I push myself forward? No, of course I didn't, you know. And that's fine. Sandwiches were lovely. The tea was lovely. Pat and Bill were the highlight of the day for us. And we start close to them. They're in their 80s, for goodness sake, you know. And it must have been quite an overwhelming experience because um, it was for us. So it certainly was for them as well. And so we stuck close to them and we made sure that they got seats and, that you know, we just hung out. She got to it. <laughs> Pat, she, we, she, she got to shake Camilla's hand and uh, she said, I'm not going to wash it again now. <laughs> <laughs> she was so lovely. And um, and I blogged about why they were there. She makes a hundred shoe boxes for children with nothing every year. And she does it all year round, you know. So when you when you look at the blog, do please go and read the blog because um it's a bit of a shout out, really. Because I said to her, I said, where where do you get what do you put in the boxes then, Pat? And she said, um, oh. Anything that children would like, pencils, colouring pencils, felt tip pens, think card, colouring things. And Dave and I just looked at each other, we're like, 
I said, where do you, where do you get all the things from? And she said, she looked at me as if I was a bit weird. And she said, I buy them. I know. On a pension, you know, she buys it. I said, well, I think we might be able to help you out there. <laughs> I've got a warehouse of it. You know, we've got, oh, well, you know what I'm saying. And so there's a shout because also crocheted things, um, crocheted toys, safe, cuddly things for little children who've got absolutely nothing. Um, I would really love it if you could make something. It has to be safe, you understand right but we could have a little patent bill um contribution drive couldn't we come on. send it to me um barbara gray and then in brackets just put pat and bill and then i'll know yeah or maybe forget that say uh no pat and bill's good pat and bill or shoe box pat and bill's shoe boxes you know that's good enough and then we'll know where they're going and if you want to put a little love note in for the children, the children love love notes, apparently. So you can put a little card in, make a little card, and I will make sure that Pat and Bill receive everything that you send us, okay? And I'll vet it. And the only reason I say vet it is to make sure it's safe before I even send it to Pat. You understand, okay? To make sure that there are no pins or needles. Not that you'd remember to, you wouldn't put pins and needles in, but you get what I'm saying here. It's got to be safe for little children. Okay. And then we'll put our sixpence worth in as well with product that we think will be wonderful for children as well. Okay. So let's do that for them. Yeah, they've they've been doing it for 30 years. That's why they were at the palace. And Bill. He he wraps them in Christmas paper, all the blue shoe boxes. I thought, wonder where. So she collects the shoe boxes and then Bill wraps them. And I said, you must do this. You must you do it in your garage. She said, oh, the house is full of it. All year round. That's what we do. <sighs> yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Paul's put the, the link up to the uh, Palace blog. So if you're looking um, for details on that, then do look. Now, let's have a look. So we've done this, okay? And what I want to do, uh, what's the time? Five to 11. So if I, I've got tears in my eyes now, so I can't see what I'm doing. Just bear with me. It was a very emotional day. Very emotional day, and it wasn't even seeing the king and queen, it wasn't anything to do with that. It was the fact that you thought me worthy of being there. That was the emotional bit, right? So, what we got to do now, <laughs> I can't see anything. What we've got to do now is transfer i actually really like this uh, i've lost my plot because my eyes are dripping Come on. get rid of the tears right now so what we've done now is we've got our lovely design on this side okay and then what we'll do is we've got to put the circle in before we lift it off so we'll take the circle and we're going to do this you well you could do it by hand, if you, or you could draw back round your cup, or you could take your mask, whatever you whatever you feel, or you could go freehand if you want it to look more organic. If you're going freehand, then let me tell you that it's a sketchy thing. You go like that till till you get to a point where there's something, right? So you don't stop half halfway. Do you see what I mean? Don't stop in the middle because you'll see the joint. So then you go like that, and then you keep going until you hit that one. This is the motorbike rider, right? Just keep your eye on the road ahead there. See? Turn it. Keep going. So you hold it so that it's comfortable for you. And then you just keep your eye on the road ahead. There you go. Oh, this is a bit of a longer one. Right, ready? Now, let me get brave here. <laughs> right, there you go. We've got somebody new in the building. Elizabeth Stevenson. 
Welcome, Elizabeth. It's lovely to have your company. And where do you live, Elizabeth? Where are you situated? Right, let's have a look. I'm thinking I ought to really be leaning on on a on something. <laughs> so I can use um, that's better. Look, there you go. Have I gone all the way around yet? Yeah, I have. Right, mission accomplished, and it's five to eleven. So now we've got our our picture, if you like. Okay. You can thicken up the lines that aren't very visible. You know, where we were air drawing, if you like. Did we do well? There you go. Now, if there's anything you want to change, now's the time to change it. If you're not sure about a petal or you're a little bit, you're wishing that you'd done it a little bit differently, okay? You know, you want to make this a bit rounder instead of square on. Look, do it now. Like that. There you go. You might like it more like that. And if you if you want to make sure that you don't transfer the wrong line, then take out the line you don't like. There you go. Easy. So this is your corrective phase. Okay. <laughs> this is where you can. Now, what I found when I was doing this yesterday afternoon, okay, when I transferred it, I'm going to go like that. Of course, it's all around the other way now, isn't it? But what you can do, because if you use an HB pencil, usually, in my opinion, an HB pencil transfers really easily. So I've used an, a hard pencil. If I take um, an HB now, right, which is what most pencils are, most bog standard pencils are HB. So what I'll do, I want it to be as I drew it. I don't want it back to front. I want it as I drew it, not the reflection. So what I've got to do now is go round on the back, okay, and I've got to add lead or graphite to the back. Now I'll show you just with the butterfly so you understand. I think we've actually got some on there, haven't we? See, and when you do this, it's really relaxing. Um, because I've got a bit of copy paper underneath, let's have a look. It may just do a, it may just do a little bit of a transfer. A little bit, but not it's because I used a hard pencil, see. But let me just show you with the butterfly. If I do this, okay. So now I'm using HB. If you want it to be darker even than this. Okay, now you could put in your patterns if you choose to, or you could do it later. But what you're doing is, is our basic trick with, with transfer, with tracing paper. Okay, so do the, I mean, there's the butterfly is symmetrical anyway, so oh, there you go. Butter, body, body. That'd be nice. So, so you can't see it very well because of the pencil that I used. But there's it doesn't matter at all. So then what you're gonna do, right, is turn it over. Once you've put you've got to do that to all of this, then take a piece of card. I'll try to get rid of that. Let's take that out from under there. And then when you've got all of it done. Right, I'll show you. Let me show you. Let me not waste a piece of good card because I've got to do the whole thing. But if I just wanted the butterfly, let's say, so now I've just got the butterfly. So I'll do that. See, I, I'm giving you homework here. You know that, don't you? <laughs> right, so there's the butterfly, and it's going to be in exactly the same place. <clears throat> okay. And now I'm going to use. See, now I've got, so now I've flipped it over again. And I think that this will give me a much darker, there you go. So now I can see much better what I've, 
what I've coloured in and what I haven't. Let's have a look like that. And if I was to use, this is where, see me personally, I use hard pencils now to do the transfer because I've got a pack of, see, so what happens then is the hard pencil, let me show you over this side, when you do the transfer, you're obviously transferring with a hard pencil, so it will give you a sharper, well, it should do, anyway. that's the theory, let's have a look. There you go. See the difference? Because I'm working with a hard pencil on this side, the transfer is really sharper as well. There. Like that. So it's really easy to do. And what I would like you to do then, right, homework for next week, if you don't mind, right, is make sure that you've transferred so you're going to go on over onto the back of your picture add your soft pencil hb on this side okay then flip it over get a piece of posh card and then add transfer this to a piece of posh card now you don't have to do the inking we can do all that together Next week, when we get together on Monday, we'll do the inking together, we'll do the dotting together, we'll do the shading together, okay? How's that sound? But today's been a good day, I think. And people can also bring donations to the Clarity Open Days. Okay, well done, good idea. Whoever had that idea, good idea. Our Clarity Open Days in Maidstone, Ditton, we've still got tickets, we've got more spaces available on the Saturday. I mean, we'll welcome you when, whenever you come. But Saturday is a little bit, not, I won't say thin on the ground, that's not fair. Um, there are a lot more people coming on the Friday. So there's more space on the Saturday. Okay. Um, so if you want to come on Saturday, it's a good day to come. And uh, if you wanted to, it's on the 9th and the 10th of June in Ditton. And it is a celebration of all things clarity. Very easy to get to, quite close to the M20, M25, M20. So it's a good run, beautiful location, um, great hall, great facilities, and lots of demonstrators, lots of art demonstrations, uh, refreshments. There's a nice park there as well, isn't there, to sit outside of the sun shining. Um, there'll be make and takes, there'll be little workshops, uh, there'll be loads of raffle gifts and giveaways. Um, yeah, it's just a good day. You'll get to meet the team, get to meet a lot of designers. Let's see who's going to be there. Um, they'll be on the stamp side demonstrating. They'll be uh, Leone and Eileen Godwin and uh, myself and Dawn Wheeler and Sam Crow. She's coming down from Newcastle. Um, yeah, then we've got on the groovy side, we've got Tina Cox, Jane Telford, Paul Church. I think that's, have I forgotten someone? And then we've got Make and Takes with Hazel Edwards, Groovy, um, Sonia Goodliffe, Tina Morris, they're making, they're doing Stampy Make and Takes. Uh, if I've forgotten anyone, forgive me. But it'll be a really, it's a cracking two day event. It's, it's the, Oh, and then, of course, we've got Jilly. Jilly's doing um, a really cool watercolour demo as well. I knew there was somebody else on the on the um, stampy, inky, mixed media side. Jilly. Jilly's doing, having her debut. So that'd be fun. Yeah, Jilly Clifton. So cool, cool, cool. And you can bring your things then. Um, I must remember Glynis as well on the Snip Clinic got Glynis. She's always does a snip clinic. I must remember that as well. Um, I was just going around the room in my head. So that's it. I should write a list. It's like the BAFTAs. <laughs> just in case I win. Thank you. <laughs> Here are all the names of the people that got me. Anyway, so that's it. This is what we're going to do. Next week, we're going to go for it. As far as this week goes, let me just let you know. 
Uh, Tuesday, it's Paul um, at 10 o'clock, Groovy Tuesday. On Thursday at 6 o'clock in the evening, it's uh, an ODS, a Groovy ODS. And so that will be on Thursday on Create and Craft at 6 o'clock. That's uh, 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. on Thursday evening. And then the following day at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Okay. Um, then on Friday, um, so that's Friday as well, the ODS. On Saturday, it's Tina. And she'll be on Create and Craft again uh, at 1 o'clock and five o'clock so lots of groovy goodness this week goodness me there's some groovy goodness so that's tuesday paul 10 o'clock thursday six and nine friday 10 and two saturday one and five there you go and yes i did write that down <laughs> thank you very much for joining me i hope you enjoyed it thanks to paul uh thanks to um yeah just thanks gratitude grateful and all that good stuff i'll see you next monday lots of love bye bye now bye bye and have a great week make something make something today show us what you're going to make hashtag make something today blast facebook with your creativity it's good for you and it's good for your friends you know who knows your work may inspire somebody else who's lost their mojo it happens all the time it happens all the time okay and the more you do, the more, the better you get. And the better you get, the more you want to do.